How to use browser full screen and kiosk modes. This tutorial describes full screen and kiosk browser modes. In both modes, all browser lines disappear and the web page expands to fill the desktop. The full screen mode is useful at home for displaying complex web pages and will be described first. The kiosk view is mainly used to set up a display at a public show and is described last. Full screen mode. This mode should be used at home to display complicated websites. To select full screen mode, first click on the window to make it active and then press F11. The browser window expands to fill the desktop as described earlier. All browser lines above the web page disappear. Press F11 again to return to normal mode. And let's do it again to go back to full screen mode. Moving the cursor to the top of the desktop shows the tab line for the browser and shows the address line. Bring it down, they go away again. The menu toolbar is not shown, but most keyboard shortcuts will still work. So you still have pretty much complete control of your computer. In the kiosk mode, most of the shortcuts don't work. Kiosk mode. This mode is used to provide restricted public access to a computer, such as at a computer show or a club show. The kiosk mode display is the same as the full screen display, but there are differences in how it works. If you're not actually going to set up a kiosk display and don't want to just play with a kiosk mode, you should probably skip the rest of this tutorial. Kiosk mode is available with several browsers, but the steps to set it up are different. In this tutorial, we'll set it up for the Internet Explorer browser. First, Create a desktop shortcut to open the browser. Click Start. Type iExplorer. Then right click and drag iExplorer.exe in the results list at the top to the desktop. Drag it to the desktop. Select Create Shortcuts here. Let's go ahead and uh, rename it. Well, let's call it something like IE for Internet Explorer Kiosk. And then click elsewhere to save the name. Now that shortcut presently will open the Internet Explorer browser in normal mode at its home page. So we're going to make some changes for the kiosk mode. Right click the shortcut. Select properties. In the line for target Click at the end, pass the double quotes, then type a space, a minus, and a K. Space minus K. Now, if we stop there and close this shortcut, the shortcut will open the Internet Explorer browser in kiosk mode on its home page. If you wanted to open a website, in kiosk mode using the Internet Explorer browser. You would keep typing here and you would type a space and then the full URL for the web page. If the URL contains any spaces, you will enclose the URL in double quotes. If it does not contain spaces, the double quotes are not necessary. So let's go ahead and finish saving our shortcut, the changes we've just made to it by clicking OK. Let's test the kiosk mode shortcut by opening it. Double click it. It has opened the Internet Explorer browser to its home page in kiosk mode. And in the kiosk mode, all browser lines disappear as they did for the full screen mode. But moving the cursor to the top has no effect. In full screen mode, it displayed a couple of lines when you did that and one of those lines had an X on the end you could close the browser with. You can't do that this way because that line does not appear in kiosk mode. 
Kiosk mode is frequently used to show a repeating video presentation or slideshow, but it will allow browsing if there are clickable links on the page that is displayed. Warning, there's only two ways to get out of kiosk mode. If you have clicked on the display at least once since opening the page, you can get out of it by pressing Alt F4 or Control F4. Let's re-enter by double-clicking our shortcut again. If for some reason that fails, you can use Control Alt Delete. And I can't demonstrate that because it drastically screws up the settings in the Cam Studio and you have to reconfigure it. But if in an emergency, if you can't close it with the Alt F4, you can press Control Alt Delete. You'll get a screen that has Start Task Manager at the bottom. Click Start Task Manager. On that screen, click the Processes tab, not the Applications tab, the Processes tab. Locate your browser's process in the list. Click it, then click End Process. Confirm the command if necessary. That will close the browser. And just to sum up, if you want to play with kiosk mode, have fun, but the full screen mode is much better to use at home and it's easier to get out of. That is the end of this tutorial and thank you for watching.